Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ratma TV. Here we are again. Apologies for last week. Um, we were both stuck on Marcus and I were both stuck on the M1 and LJ didn't have administration rights to start the show and talk to you without us basically interrupting her. Um, <laughs> she could she could have got a word in edgeways. <laughs> yeah. She... Roman says hi. Hi Roman. Hi Roman. Hey Roman, have I got something for you right now? Tell you what, we're gonna gonna get straight into this. I've got a bit of bad flu, so you're gonna have to bear with me. All I haven't got the dreaded C, <clears throat> but I have got a bit of bad flu, so I'm feeling sorry for myself and I'm surrounded by tissues, as you can expect. And I've just been outside in the freezing cold because Flixy, <laughs> we've just been testing Flixy <coughs> for bumps and stuff. You might have to cut in here, LJ, because I don't think I can talk for half an hour. <laughs> but we've just Thanks, been. Out Hey, what? Cheryl said, hi, Cheryl. We got, we got a treat for you today. You might have seen uh, in the Keithley area a London black cab driving around, um, which is Flixie. And Flixie is now up and running and operational. Um, and we've just been out testing it. And I'm going to show you a video because I did, a, I did a, um, an on-location broadcast. I should say my, that my twin did an outside broadcast or something, shouldn't I? But I'd probably, be, <laughs> anyway, it's been nonsense. So basically, I'm going to show you now, I'm going to show you the video that I did. And uh, we accosted somebody off the street as well. <laughs> Put them in it. Uh, you'll see it all. You'll see it all because I was trying to do the video when we'd stopped and everything. And Marcus, there was a, there was a chap who lives up the road from me walking along. And Marcus was like, get in. And I was like, we're not going to abduct you. Don't worry. <laughs> so Marcus should be with us at some point. But Flixie is now up and running. Let me, let me do the share. And I tell you what, I'm going to let you have a little look yourself, right? So here we go. Hello, everybody. This will be a little bit bumpy. But I am actually in the back of Anyone? Flixie. The smallest taxi in the world, which is actually a black cab. I'll do uh, a little bit of a video when we get out as well. But yes, um, I'm actually sat in the back of a London taxi. I'll try and show you my seats and everything. There's a the projector. Uh, you could hear the sound. And uh, if I just try not to put my hand all over the thing. God, this, it's a little bit bumpy in the, in the cab itself, but turn you around. You can see the movie itself is actually really stable. And that's really cool. So, yes, welcome to Flixie, the smallest taxi in the world. And just a little bit of proof of the pudding and all that that we are moving. I'll give you a quick preview of the window. So as you can see, we're moving along. Very nice. And it's a nice sunny day today. A good, a good job I got the curtains to block out everything. And <laughs> I'm bumping around a bit, but uh, the actual film itself, as I say, is amazingly steady. That is really good. Marcus has done a really good job here. Yeah? Round. We don't have that on for too long because quite simply it will uh, get copyright strike or something. But there we are. So welcome to Flixie on the move. So, right, here we are. I'm gonna just take everybody, show them Flixie quickly. We finally got to our destination, which was where we started off from. But as you can see, a nice London taxi that Marcus very cleverly put together as the smallest cinema in the world and i literally tell you it's absolutely brilliant it's absolutely brilliant it really is and uh yeah so keep an eye out for flixie on the road you know all right there and uh yeah yeah there's a cinema in the back show him show him seriously and as you can see we stopped passers-by <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Can you rent this out, right? Yeah, I'm sure. 
<laughs> it's alright, we're not abducting you. <laughs> there you go. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know if the movie will play yet. Absolutely. Have you got the film on? Yeah, take a picture, put it on your social. Absolutely. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, it's got Mr. Bean on the go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the uh, there's a, a Facebook page. So quick the smallest in the world. So here we are. I'm gonna Right, we'll leave leave them to it now. Marcus is gonna be talking for a bit, so uh, we'll go back to studio, as I say. <laughs> so yes, as you can see we accost people off the street <laughs> who are walking past. And uh, Mark, I couldn't help myself. He bundled him into the back. He probably thought that he was being abducted or taken somewhere. <laughs> It'd be a great way to abduct someone, wouldn't it? Because they have no clue where they were. No. Be... <laughs> but yeah, that's Flixie. Um, and it looking really good. Looking really, really good. I think Bravo, Marcus, you've done an absolute best. Uh, see, out of my mind into the real world. Yeah. What else? What else can I release from here? <laughs> oh, good God, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all sorts going on in there, mate. Oh yeah, I know. I, I know. I've, I've worked with you for nine years now, so uh, <laughs> you know, I know. But yeah, so that, that's it. That's Flixie all up and running. So we're going to be, you're going to be able to. People are going to be able to uh, rent it. Uh, we're going to get it up and running so that we can start funding the festival a bit more um, and you'll be able to rent it out and stuff like that um, that's that's yeah. the plan going forward um, it doesn't have to be Mr Bean's can anybody <laughs> ask can anybody <laughs> tell me which Mr Bean film that is anybody know which Mr Bean film that is I will, I will say that <clears throat> I'm not a fan of Mr Bean and I am he was he drove me around about a five mile route to <laughs> test it I was um, testing so, you. I was testing you more than the cinema. Yeah, I was abducted. <laughs> I felt like I was abducted and subjected to torture. So yes, not a fan. Not a fan. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, next time you can put Star Wars on for him. Was it Harry Potter? Oh, Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Oh, the... <laughs> yeah well, wow, that'd be a journey. Eight films of Harry Potter. <laughs> hey, LJ, I thought we were friends. <laughs> That's twenty-four <laughs> hours of Harry Potter. <laughs> We were friends. I'd just be, a, I'd be in the back sliding round going. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I'll, be I'll, put, I'll, put, I'll get a little hammock in there for you. <laughs> that would be ideal. <laughs> a, bit, a bit of homebrew and, uh, and, and in the hammock in the back, I'll be away. <laughs> for the record, as far as blockbusters are concerned, Gareth and I agree on nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I think people know now, Mark. Know now. Well, yeah. Star Wars, Harry Potter, Mr. Bean. Well, the, the list, James Bond, the list goes on. <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. You're a, you're it's not a... my fault you haven't got any taste. Well, you're a, obviously a contra. I must, I'm a watcher. What, what did you call me? Uh, you're a massive contra. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's uh, the oh, very nice. Um, the the film Little Big Man. Okay. You ever seen it, Dustin Hoffman? No, not seen it. Oh, it's a classic, absolute yeah. classic. But there's this, uh, he's, uh, he's uh, raised by Indians and, uh, sorry, and Native Americans. Um, although they were Indians at the time of the filming, they are now Native Americans. Um, they, uh, there was one uh, Native American who used to ride his horse back to front, so he'd be facing the tail end. And um, uh, he, was, he was just known as a Contra. And he was uh, what we would call um, fluid these days so that's what he was i don't understand any of that so um <laughs> he he rode his horse backwards yeah he was he was called a contra he said so that he, he was, could see behind no just because he did everything backwards to what other everyone else did he was uh he was a and he was known as a contra because he contradicted everything everybody in the tribe so 
basically did everything. He did everything backwards. Right. Okay. Um, well, I, I don't contradict everybody, Marcus. There are other people out is it, there who is it don't just, like James <laughs> Bond, you know. Is it is it just me and LJ then? No, I was a I was at, <laughs> I was at a Bond themed uh, event on Saturday. Wow, that must have hurt. <laughs> and uh, there was a, the, the we what we thought was a quiz, and the entire table all admitted they didn't like James Bond, and nobody knew anything about it. I was a bloody good company. You were on a contra table. Wow. I was on a, I was on a table of conference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, just there you go. Of, what do you call a collective of contras? <laughs> a contra collective? <laughs> I don't know. A contraceptive? <laughs> oh, this is getting too close. This is getting too close to being to being filthy now. So we need to stop. We need to stop. We might offend somebody. Uh, it's uh, too late. That, that ship has already sailed, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. So, what are we going to talk about this week apart from Flixie? Because I'll be honest with you, my throat is hurting already. Well, okay, but talking of cinemas, um, our um, our cinema in uh, Keithley has just been given a uh, a bit of a social grant to uh, get it over the COVID um, oh, crisis. Um, of course, you'd have known that if you read the page, because I think I did a post on it yesterday, and mm. I'm bringing it up just so I can I can give you the uh, the exact figures. Um, it's um, he said, and and actually I can quote uh, I can quote Charles, um, the owner, on on this because it's in the paper, so it must be true. Must be true. Uh, it says they've been awarded uh, eighty one thousand pounds from the government culture recovery fund. That's due to the uh, uh, three lockdown um, blackouts they've had over the last uh, two years. Um, they've uh, they've been given a, a package to save them, which is good. Um, Charles says um, it's very welcome and necessary um, and the uh, support from the fund, and it's but it needs some sort of public uprising to go back to the cinema he said james bond helped hear that james bond helped um and uh, <laughs> gone deaf as well anyway. um, <laughs> the uh at bar he said that it's not it's not enough to uh to secure the future of uh, of the cinemas but this uh picture house is a hundred plus years old it was a hundred years old in 2013 so what does that make it 108 years old mm. quick maths um 108 years old, and uh, and it's probably hitting one of its biggest crises in its life. So everyone needs to get down to Keithley Picture House yes. and and uh, watch some uh, watch some films. They're they're all down there. And I will say, one that I have uh, I am definitely going to see is uh, A Wonderful Life, which is on Christmas Eve Eve and Christmas Eve. There's an 11 o'clock 11 o'clock performance 11 p.m. On Christmas Eve Eve, that's the 23rd of December, right? Um, of A Wonderful Life with James Stewart. That was a terrible James Stewart. That, uh, impre- I'm going to yeah. stop doing impressions. That was just terrible. But um, yeah, they've got one on the uh, tw- on the 11th and one at 8:30 uh, to 12:30 um, on the 24th, I believe. Oh, is that right? Hold on. Um, oh no, that's the other one. The um, bu- 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 just getting the details off of it. Oh yeah, no, sorry, it's the twenty third at eleven o'clock and um, and Christmas Eve at five o'clock. Sorry, with free mince pies. Okay. Do you like mince pies, Gareth? Yes, I do like mince pies. Hey, stop trying to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, <coughs> oh dear me! Bless you, mate. <laughs> a... I got lurgy. I got man flu. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're doing very well on it. I know. I know. I know. I, I don't whine and moan like most. How are you, LJ? Are you fine? Yeah, I'm good. Good. Can we just finish off what the um, the, the, the picture house has got on at the moment? Go on then. Yeah. Not just because he just said it'd be really good if people went down. So let's have a yes. look at what they've got. It would. Yes. Yeah. So they got the It's a Wonderful Life. <coughs> Christmas Eve Eve mm-hmm. <coughs> currently showing 
is Ghostbusters Afterlife. Have you seen that? Oh, no, but I've got to watch that. That's good. I'm going down there to watch that. Is, is it a comedy? Do it's, we Ghostbusters. Know? it's Ghostbusters. I know, but I view it as quite serious. Uh, it's Ghostbusters. How can it be serious? That's what I thought. <laughs> they got the House, House of Gucci show in at the moment. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know much about that one. That's a sort of a social drama, isn't it? It's uh, it's the his, it's the history behind the Gucci house. Right. Okay. Uh, and a, what do you call it? A, dra- a, a drama, uh, a docudrama. Is docudrama. that what they call it? Yeah. Doc, docudrama. Yeah. Mm. Um, it sounds better than drama entry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, that's quite quick, actually. I, yeah. <laughs> I was stumbling, stumbling over it, to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, cool. Encanto, which no. looks like a Walt Disney animation. Uh, that'll be for the kids. Tells the tale of an extraordinary family. So that's one for the kids, for definite. Yeah. Um, and Anything Goes uh, musical, which is uh, looking uh. good. So yes, uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, oh, yeah. I might pop down and have a little look. Is that got Robert Lindsay in it? Which one? Anything goes. Anything goes. And uh, Felicity Kendall. Was that that one that was? Um, I will. I will look that up and I will give you an answer on that. I saw him on the news for some reason this morning, and it, and it was about something to do with the cinema because I saw their backdrop. But my wife was drying her hair, so I couldn't yes. hear what was going on. Yes, it's Felicity Kendall, Robert Lindsay. Oh, uh, I'd go into Hall. that. Gary Felicity Wilmot and Kendall. Sutton Foster. Felicity Kendall. Yeah. She, she, yeah, Gilf, mate, Gilf. I, uh, she is uh, <laughs> 75 years old, Felicity I'm Kendall. Sure, I'm sure she'd be pleased to hear that from you, uh, Martin. <laughs> yeah. When I was, uh, well, she was in, uh, in a good, it's uh, The Good Life with. Um, yeah, that's right. Did, did, yeah. Did, 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 did. Yeah, that one. Yeah. And, uh, and, and during that, yeah, that's right. During that period, she, uh, she got rear of the year. Radio. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> just the, it's all right. It's the only <laughs> trivia about Felicity Kendall I know. But I'm just, right I was besotted when I was at school. Absolutely besotted with Felicity Kendall. Righty ho. And uh, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> um, we've got coming soon. Yeah, we've got uh, Andre Rio. Oh, Andre Rio. He's Andre. doing the Christmas thing, isn't he? It's uh, yeah, it's like a. Yeah, it's um, what do you call it? Musical thing, isn't it? It's it's Christmas, um, violin stuff, orchestra right. stuff. Yeah, orchestra. Good yeah, stuff. orchestra yeah. stuff with violins and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I couldn't think of the word orchestra, so I just thought the first instrument in <laughs> violin. Don't know why I thought of that. Just surrounded by them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's got a good, there's a good, there's a good feed into Christmas actually film wise. I'm going to go yeah, down there is, a few times. But good. please Music. go and support. The Keithley Picture House. If you're in the location, uh, if you're in Keithley, support it. If you don't use it, you know what they say. And we don't want that to happen. We'll lose it. I mean, and, at, the end, at the end of the day, I'll be honest with you, it's cheaper than going to blooming Leeds and all the rest. I mean, it's it is, yeah. Six pound fifty an adult. Mm. I mean, that, that, that's a bargain considering. Yeah. Uh, you know, you go to Leeds. I went to see Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Is that the first one of the three shite ones? Um, was you mean that, the, or, or was it after the, the Disney the franchise? Six? Yeah, when uh, it became Disney, was it The yeah. Force Awakens? That one, Some, something like that. Wasn't you it? know, yeah. it, it was eleven quid just to get in, right? Was to it? Watch Where? It. Where? In, in the in the uh, Odeon in Wales, this was. All uh, right. Right. The Odeon in Wales. <laughs> I went it's to not... the one. I went to the one at Sound not... Park Services. And right. Odeon in Wales, then. <laughs> the, the, whatever it was, eleven quid to get in. Yeah. Right? And I was buying a ticket for my nephew as well, right? And I swear to God, 11 quid, and then they said there was a £2 charge on top because it was a blockbuster. Be grief. I said, uh, are you taking the piss? Pardon my French. And what did they say? Yes. No, no, no <laughs> it's, that's what it is. When I left, I went up to the counter and I said, can I have my money back? Because <laughs> it was bloody awful. <laughs> a remake of a new hope that's all it was but with a girl and a round robot instead of a bloke and a square robot that's all it was remake <laughs> just a bloody remake nobody's ever called r2d2 square 
Well, you know, well, he's, he's kind of oblongish, isn't he? You know, with a round... It's, it's a dusty the, bin kind of it's character. It's, you know. pe- the, the pedal bin one. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's me too, one. You know. yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a dusty bin. Wow, there you go, showing your age again, Gareth. Hey. A, lot of people, a lot of people just thought you did two rude gestures to the camera. <laughs> yeah. hey. But he had to do it that way around. Yes, because otherwise, because it, because, fact, otherwise it became it very dangerous. Every yeah. week it would have been... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Lucky dropped the middle thing. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Yeah. Three, two. Yeah, that was, that was that was his last show. <laughs> he had one pilot episode, and that was it. Never be, never be seen again. Uh, poor LJ has no clue. No, <laughs> he used to do it every week, didn't he? Well, I bet it was the same. I bet it was the same clip. I think he probably only did it the once. Didn't he? But he yeah. used to do that in front of the camera. He go, he go, he go. Three, two, one. That's what it was. That's what the show was called. It was called Three Two. Imaginative name, and they gave away bins. They give away bins if you I were think. rubbish. So it like bullseye where they gave away. Yeah, was it? Was it, was it darts? Was it? It was. It was a darts. Three what two was that then? That was bullseye. That oh, was it. Bullseye, bullseye was darts. All right. You don't get nothing for doing a bed. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. And, and yeah. they used to give away prizes like a, a speedboat. Yeah. Where, where are you from? Where you Birmingham. Where are you from? <laughs> Birmingham. Yeah. We live in the city centre. Yeah. Where you could have won? Look what you've won a speedboat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. with, with a, with a three hundred horsepower outboard engine. <laughs> <laughs> speedboat, speedboat, and this patio sir. Yeah. <laughs> in a flat in a barbecue yeah. and a bit of high rise <laughs> it was ridiculous wasn't it yeah it was, it was. but it was yeah or they'd get you one of them uh, a cocktail cabinet <laughs> <laughs> like massive, massive, great big cocktail cabinet that was the size of a bedroom. <laughs> like, and it looked know. like the earth. Uh, uh, so you looked sophisticated when you got your boot. Hey, uh, well, 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 I've got one of those. They, they, you have, <laughs> <haven't> you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Where should we go today? Uganda. <laughs> yeah. Nice. What's the national drink of Uganda? Yeah. <laughs> oh, whiskey again. <laughs> whiskey and geography. Nothing like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that'd be me. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it was it was good three to one, and 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 as you were saying, bullseye. That was uh, that was something else, wasn't it? That was uh, yeah. he. What was his name? Jim Bowen, wasn't it? Jim was Bowen, it Jim? Yeah. yeah, Jim Bowen. Yeah, yeah. Jim Bowen, yeah. Jim Bowen. He, he was a he was is LJ. Tell me, is anyone commenting on this? Because. <laughs> Uh, I think no, I think Gar- no, I think Gareth no. and I are probably the only people old enough to remember it. I think they've all left. They've all they've all left <laughs> to Google to do one. Are we showing any films today? We can't show a film today. What what film should we show today? Um what are the art films? I feel like calming down. How about um no, no, let's have, let's have, I tell you what I want. <laughs> I knew it's what saying. I really, really want. <laughs> Yeah, go on. I, and, and, and I would like uh, now. Should we just write? Should we do this, or should we build up to this for next week? Right. What? But the road to nowhere. Right. I ah, want to see to how nowhere, many yeah. references to movies you can find. Get a pen and paper. Yeah. How many references to movies can you find, and can you name them? Do it now. You want to do it now? Yeah. Right? Do it get, now. Both, both of you get pen and paper ready. And if you're watching, get a pen and paper. And these are all alien invasion films <laughs> that they make reference to all the way through and see how many you can find and see how many you can actually name. Yeah? But you will have to bear with me while I get things. <laughs> You've seen this. Macaulay's got hold of my notepad. I'll just show it. Just. <laughs> I just turned over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, look at that. What we got? <laughs> I didn't. I don't. Know. I'll, I'll get. I'll get taken off the air. <laughs> Boobs. I think you're going to need to get revenge. He's been reading his uh, calculator upside down again, hasn't he? <clears throat> I think you need right. to get some revenge. Uh, I. Uh, there's plenty of that. There'll be plenty of that. Right. Now, there, are, <laughs> there are subtitles because it is in uh, German. German. So. Or, is it German? Yeah, I think it's German. Yes, it's it? German. Yeah. 
Uh, but get your pen and paper ready. Come on, yeah. then, big up. Who's the director? Christian. So it's uh, Tim Curlis and oh, yeah. Christian Skibin Skibinski. Sorry, Christian, if I pronounced that wrong. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah, Christian. Now you know why I just said Christian. Kavinsky <laughs> and Tim Curlis, um, Nowhere Road. Okay. And this is the 10 minute edit they did for the festival. Uh, in fact, I've got, I haven't got the one that they sent into the festival. I've got the one that's slightly longer, 10 17, but it doesn't matter. Um, the one they entered into the festival was 10 dead. All right. Okay. So I shall do the share screen and we shall mute ourselves. And we we shall enjoy yourselves. Get your pen and papers to the ready and schon mal aufgefallen, dass wir Katzenfutter mit uns herumschleppen. Woher weißt du, wie Katzenfutter schmeckt? Ich musste noch ganz anderes Zeug fressen, um zu überleben. Geht zur Armee, haben sie gesagt. Da wird alles anders. Astronauten kriegen auch nichts Besseres. Er füllt seinen Zweck. Mehr aber auch nicht. Eingeschweißt ist es. Und soll Fleisch enthalten. Wahrscheinlich ist es Soil and Green. Wenn du es nicht willst, dann immer her damit. Wir verschwenden nicht, solange wir auf Patrouille sind. Du bist echt zu genügsam, Klaatu. Das ist dein Fehler. Ich fasse mich den Gegebenheiten an. Das ist nur logisch. Wahrscheinlich macht es dir echt nichts aus, dass das Zeug so aussieht wie schon mal gegessen. Ich wäre ja für Hummer als Feldration. Wenn wir schon unseren Arsch riskieren für das große Ganze, dann wenigstens ein paar Annehmlichkeiten. Hummer kriegt nur ein General. Ja, fürs Nichtstun und Delegieren. Bataillone verheizen. Das ist über meiner Gehaltsklasse. Also, wisst du jetzt die Ration oder nicht? Das ganze Gerede vom Essen macht mich nämlich langsam hungrig. Ich zweifle die Befehlskette an und du denkst an deinen Magen? An der Befehlskette kann ich in den nächsten Minuten nichts ändern. Und meinen Magen knurren schon. Du bist ein hoffnungsloser Fall, mein Freund. Als Marie Antoinette gesagt wurde, dass ihr Volk hungert und kein Brot hat, fragte sie, warum gebt ihr ihnen keinen Kuchen? Kein Kuchen. Wie lange soll das noch so weitergehen? Bis der Letzte von uns ins Gras gebissen hat? So lange, wie es nötig ist und bis sie geschlagen sind. Welle für Welle. Egal, wer noch kommt. Propaganda-Gehirnwäsche. Warum finden die unseren Planeten eigentlich immer so erobernswert? Warum wir? Was hat die Galaxis gegen uns? Schau mal, jeder Angriff macht uns stärker. Wir lernen aus unseren Fehlern. Werden immer besser vorbereitet und angepasst. Jetzt komm mir nicht mit Nietzsche. Was mir nicht umbringt, macht mich stärker. Bla, bla. Das Ganze geht mehr und mehr an die Substanz. Du verlierst immer mehr mit jeder Schlacht. Die erste Invasion war doch noch ganz erträglich. Eine Woche Kampf, bis sie dann durch die Grippe alle krepiert sind. Da waren sie unangepasst. Ich erinnere mich daran, dass grünes Blut schwer aus der Kleidung zu kriegen war. Außerdem hatten wir mehr Glück als Verstand. Unsere ganzen teuren Waffen und der gesamte Militärapparat hat sie nicht in die Knie gezwungen. Wenn sie Knie gehabt hätten. Das ist doch natürliche Auslese. Der Stärkere überlebt. Der besser angepasste, wenn du schon Darwin zitierst. Wer ist Darwin? Ein General? Vergiss es. Schlimmer war, dass es bei der zweiten Invasion eine Rasse war, deren all unsere Viren nichts ausgemacht haben. Gelbes Blut. Das ging noch schlechter aus der Kleidung raus. <lacht> Explodierten bei jedem Schuss. Diese Insektenviecher, da mussten wir doch die Königin töten. Das Gehirn, das alles kontrolliert hat. Dann waren die Käfer nur noch Matsche. 
Die Feldrationen haben noch ein ganzes Jahr nach Heuschrecken geschmeckt, weil das Oberkommando ja nichts verkommen lassen wollte. Aber besser als Katzenfutter, oder? Beides ähnlich schlimm. Nummer drei war lila Blut. Die mit den riesigen Raumschiffen? Die mit den riesigen Raumschiffen, ja. Die haben mit den Hauptstädten kurzen Prozess gemacht. Liebten es wirklich Wahrzeichen zu zerstören. Aber mit denen konnten wir ganz gut umgehen. Da hat ein einfaches Computervirus deren ganze Technologie lahmgelegt. Wieder Glück. Idiotisches Glück. Da waren wir wieder besser angepasst. Die Erde steht jedes Mal still, wenn die kommen. Ausnahmezustand wird zur Normalität. Irgendwann hört das auf. Die merken ja, dass wir nicht klein zu kriegen sind. Ich bin schon ziemlich fertig. Wir Fußsoldaten müssen das immer ausbaden. So satt habe ich das. Immerhin sind wir immer noch hier. Kaum noch. Und mit immer größeren Abstrichen. Du siehst ein halb leeres Glas und ich ein halb volles. Macht dich das nicht wahnsinnig? Nach deiner Philosophie kann ich ja eh nichts daran ändern, außer durchhalten. Präzise. Du hast es verstanden. Schon mal aufgefallen, dass es noch viel schlimmer hätte sein können? Bisher kamen sie immer von oben und waren auf eine gewisse Art noch berechenbar. Es könnten ja zur Abwechslung mal gute Aliens sein. Niedliche Viecher, die vielleicht einfach nur nach Hause wollen. Die suchen vielleicht Asyl hier auf der Erde. Dann müssten wir eine Behörde einrichten dafür. Ja, weil wir dann den Abschaum der Galaxis kriegen. Lächerlich. Und wenn sie geistig so hoch entwickelt sind, dann sind wir für sie Ameisen. Dann sperren die uns höchstens noch in ihre kosmischen Zoos. Das wäre mal was Neues. Was ich sagen will ist, schlimmer wäre es doch, wenn sie nicht von außen kämen, sondern bereits hier sind. Unter uns oder sogar in uns. Du hast wirklich zu viele schlechte Feldrationen, Intus. Vielleicht hat sich ja bereits ein Alien in dir eingenistet, wie ein Parasit. Und dann? Blödsinn. Sowas passiert nicht. Du siehst überall nur noch Geister. Dann könnte ja auch deine Zimmerpflanze ein Alien sein oder dein Hund. Glaubst du an sowas? Und was, wenn sie irgendwann aussehen wie du und ich? Wenn sie deinen Körper übernehmen. Deine Frau ist dann nicht mehr deine Frau. Irgendwie anders. Emotionslos. Das wäre ja nichts Neues. Ein Soldat ohne Gefühle ist ein effektiver Soldat. Ist ja vielleicht nicht schlecht. Du bist ein Schaf, Klaatu. Vielleicht bist du ja schon ein Alien. Wobei, nein. Dann würdest du nicht den üblichen Blödsinn von dir geben. Woran würdest du das denn merken, ne? Keine Ahnung. Vielleicht finde ich ja eine Brille und sehe die Aliens in den Menschen, die unter uns wandeln. Ganz zufällig, ja? Ist ja nur eine Theorie. Vielleicht übernehmen sie auch ein kleines Dorf und fangen an, ihre Nachkommen in uns auszubrüten. Wir wüssten es dann erst, wenn es zu spät ist. Und schon sind wieder alle verdammt. Jetzt reiß dich endlich zusammen. Ich bin deine Spinnereien langsam leid. Ja, ja. Mach dich nur lustig über mich. Dir wird das Lachen schon noch vergehen. Vielleicht früher, als du denkst.
gesagt, es geht schon wieder los. Es wird niemals aufhören. Oh. Es ist soweit. Es gibt dir Feuerschutz und du stürmst zum Tor. Nein, wir schießen nicht. Wir tun dir nichts mehr. Was? Es sind deine Waffe, du Schwachkopf. Die kommen immer wieder. Wahrscheinlich haben sie das Oberkommando schon längst unterwandert. Wir müssen uns mit ihnen verbinden. Eine andere Chance haben wir nicht. Ich will nicht sterben, noch nicht. Wir verbünden uns nicht mit dem Feind. Niemals. Stuff. Right then. So. I didn't get them all. Are, you up? I didn't get them all. I I got I got that many. I got that many. <laughs> yeah. So I got a couple that I'm not really hundred percent about. Go on. Okay. You have to turn it back on, LJ. Just turn it back on. I am trying to, but it's not turning on. It's saying I can't because the host has disabled it. Oh, I haven't disabled it. Let's have a look. I never did nothing either. There we are. I'll ask to start and it should I do guess. it. There we are. Oh, hello. Uh, if you're left out, the thing is, if we, if we leave our cameras on, then basically we're on the one of us is on the video when he's playing the film. So turn them off, then just show the film. You see? So, technology. Right, so I've got a couple that I'm not 100% sure about. Okay, what was the first one you got? The, the first one I got was the cat food reference. Which was? Red Dwarf. Oh, no. Yeah, I no. Don't, that's one I'm not 100% about. But... I don't know. I think it's District 9. Do you? Oh, right, Dis yeah. Dis District actually... 9, they add cat food. Uh, they Didn't they give the aliens cat food in District that's 9? right. Yes. Yes, that's that's a better call than mine. I didn't, I didn't. Uh, that wasn't the first one I got. The first one I got was Soylent Green. <laughs> ah, right. What was that? But it's then? not really an alien. Well, they mentioned Soylent Green in by name, didn't they? When yeah. it was, you know. Uh, but Soylent Green was a. It was more of a sci-fi than an alien movie, but it was a reference to uh, a, a, a future dystopia where Soylent Green is. Oh, wait a minute. Spoiler alert. Uh, they processed all sorts of waste, recycled stuff, and uh, and if you don't want if you don't want to know the, the <laughs> if you don't want to know the spoiler, look away now. Soylent Green is people. Oh. Um, so uh, yeah. that was that was uh, that was the um, catchphrase from that. It was um, Charlton Heston, I think, was that one? Yeah, long Good time film. ago. Good film. Need More to see it. War of the Worlds was an easy one. A War of the Worlds. They got a couple of those in about three references to War yeah. of the Worlds, which are wave after wave. Wave after wave. Yeah. And the, the kid killed by a basic virus. Vi yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to the computer virus, which I'm not sure. Independence Day? Independence Day. Yes, got it. Yeah. Um, um, but also Independence It wasn't Kill the Queen a reference to Independence Day? No, no. That, or was that? That one, that one you're going to kick yourself. Go on. Is that the is that the one that uh, is that Shield? Is that Thor and that? No, one? no. Starship Iron Man. Starship, huh? troop, Starship Troopers. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, Where they I kill the bugs. One. They kill all the bugs. Oh no, not the bugs. No, when it's he says you got to kill the queen, and I'm that, sure that was a line spoken by uh, Jeff Goldblum in Independence Day when he said it's that you, you can't, you're not going to stop the fighters, the little the the the, the fighter. Uh, the, it was a computer virus reference. Right. Yeah, I think Day. they were, I think they did a couple, but there you go. You got to kill uh, the queen is aliens. Is it? And also, oh, it could be, yeah, the yeah. brain bugs is Starship Troopers because they talked about having to kill the brain bug. Ah, right. Yeah. There was a very so, short ET reference. There was a short, yeah, maybe they'll come down and want to go home. Yeah. yeah. And what's um, ET short for? Extraterrestrial. No, he's got little legs. 
I think the green blood that gets all over you because they explode is oh yeah Mars attacks Mars attacks yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it was um, yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember the name of the film but no yeah Mars attacks every yeah. time they come down the Earth stops spinning is the day the Earth stood still right it's gotta be. Mm, it wasn't an alien film, though, it was, was it? It was, because the alien came down and stopped the speed of the Earth for one for, for like an, an hour or whatever. Oh, uh, did they? Yeah, uh, it's a really old film. It is an old film, and I can't. I, it got oh, merged that's right. with a lot of uh, robot guy. Oh no, it's the day the Earth caught fire that I'm thinking of. It's a similar <laughs> similar time. Yeah, no, no the that's day the Earth stood still is a is an old film. Uh, the thing. Yes, I got the thing. <laughs> yeah, the, the blood. The dog. The dog, yeah. Yeah, and, it was uh, uh, your dog could be the alien. It yes. was uh, actually spoiled for me because of my rudimentary knowledge of Scandinavian. There was a Norwegian party chasing a wolf towards ice station zebra or wherever it was, right. and uh, and they were shouting, "The uh, hunter, the thing," basically saying the dog's the thing, right? Big spoiler right at the beginning of the film. And yeah. I sat for that going, but but the, the, you didn't know it because the the, uh, the Americans uh, they were they were looking after it, weren't they? Yeah. And they and thought, ah, oh, lovely know. dog. Yeah. And they didn't know it was the yeah, alien. But it was, yeah. Anyway. The, 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 yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, spoil uh, the uh, yeah. The spoiler. Men in black. Uh, Men in black reference. We'll yes, there was a couple of those. We'd already get the scum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, I was always yeah. Body snatchers. Body snatchers. Yeah. They walk among us. They walk among us. To do, they'll That's take another one. Family, you wouldn't know mm. if they're alien or not. There was actually a film called They Walk Among Us. Was there? Uh, right. So was I think it's your vision yeah. of the body snatchers. Person. Yeah, it could be either. Yeah. They were both um, alien films. I'm going to go for a close encounter of the third kind with the open bright light at the end and him walking towards it. Yeah, yeah, could do, yeah. Yeah. That was the first time ET made a showing, you know, in uh, Close Encounters. Yeah, that was that was uh, that was his folks come down there. Yeah, was it? Yeah, apparently. Um, yeah. What else did I get? Have you, have you seen our kid, little bugger? He's always running off. Star. Is that, is that what they say? Starship Troopers. We've done Star Trek. Star Trek. Did you get so, a Trek reference? Cosmic Zoo. Really, oh, I, see, I, I wrote it, but I just question marked it. I, I, it, it I'm pretty sure there was a, a, an episode of Star Trek where they were all captured by aliens and put into zoos and expected to mate. Well, Captain oh, Kirk was yes. expected to mate with a with a rather beautiful other human being. Yeah, it was probably blue instead of <laughs> yeah. any other colour. But yes, yes, that's right. I remember that one. That's a good one. And I'm not sure about the reference to destroying landmarks, but was that Independence, Independence Day as well? Independence Day, I think, yeah. because they did all of that. They did, boom, didn't boom, they? Boom, 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 biggest, I, I, yeah, the biggest applause in that film was when the White House went up in, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Now, the purple blood has got to be something, but I couldn't work out what it was. Different colour bloods, weren't there? There was all different colour blood. Yeah, I, was, I know, yeah, but the, yeah. the, the, the purple blood, I think, is going to be a reference to something, but I just, I don't know what it is. But that was a really good game. I enjoyed that. It was we'll a good to, game. we we'll have to see if Tim um, or, or Christian want to come on and actually walk us through. We'll do that. Actually, we'll uh, we'll have we'll a word with him this week, see, see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We'll, we'll drop him an email saying, hey, look, we've tried to guess all of the films that you referenced. Don't come and in if anybody is still watching, if you, we missed some that you saw, please just, comment. Please, please get it in there. Yeah. In the comments below. Okay. But there we are. Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's it. We're all done. Short one for today. I've got to go and put Flixie to bed. So you've got to go put Flixie to bed. Yeah. I gotta go feel sorry for myself. More tissues. Oh. And uh, take some take some paracetamol because that, uh, that'll be the cold, right? Yeah. Maybe maybe drink some plum wine. <laughs> yeah. Get some Viking blood down, you mate. That, that, that plum blood. wine is gorge. Mm, and a little yeah. little little pulled a little bit off earlier just to have a little like kind of stiff. Down. Because honey is supposed to be good for you. So anything mead. No, it's not. It's not mead. It's no, you want to get some Vikings blood in you, mate. That'll do. Oh yeah, good. some cherry mead down my throat. Oh yeah, that's good. So that is good for you. 
I have been eating a lot more honey. And it's part. It's two of your five a day, probably. No, well, it's one of your five a day, isn't it? Uh, Very mean. Well, yeah, it's bad. I don't know. I, have, I, I sometimes have more than five drinks a day. Do you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's the weekend, so let's. Uh, it's the, the weekend starts here. I know. You ready? I'll tell you cold? what. Drink what I had last last uh, last night, I had a white port. It was oh, gorgeous. I bet. Absolutely gorgeous. I like a port. I really do. All, anyway, yeah. on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. It's been really nice to have you on and uh, have you listening to us. Don't forget, comment, ask us anything you want about the festival coming up, and we're going to keep doing this no matter what. So <laughs> yeah. we'll see you. <laughs> Later, I, I think there's a few. There's a few countries trying to get us off air, but <laughs> there's a few. <laughs> There'd be a few countries trying to get us off. Air. I think okay. Wales for one of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, and on that note, we shall see you. He's not one of us. We've never seen him before in our lives. <laughs> right, we'll see you later. Cheers and bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.